Uh, we're just travelling along Bulwa Avenue here in Guernsey and we're heading through some really small little roads then we end up at the Smelly Pond on the west coast so welcome on board today's drive along here in the Channel Islands uh, if you've been here before welcome back and if you're new to this channel it's all about living on the island of Guernsey so if you're interested in that sort of thing you can subscribe and as usual if you do like this video you can let me know simply by giving it a thumbs up anyway I haven't said all that off we go so it's a Saturday afternoon and um, as usual we're back on board the van with the camera rolling and you're gonna see what it's like and what's going on in Guernsey speed limit 35 miles per hour and in today's video we're gonna go through the bridge and we go round the little lanes at Bordeaux and when I say little they are narrow at one point I think I may have to um, do a double turn on the lanes I'm thinking about it I think one of them I might have to do two tacks to get around the corner but um, I sort of know the route I'm gonna go and you're gonna see some of the really beautiful little houses in the tucked away lanes here in Guernsey and there's some beautiful places some nice little Guernsey cottages maybe see some lanes you haven't seen before my drive alongs um, I did this one maybe what, a year ago a similar route but um, it's slightly different it's not exactly the same so we're heading through what's known as the bridge area or St Sampson's the parish of St Sampson's see the chimneys there in the distance that's the power station Guernsey power station speed limit drops to 25 look at those skies do you think it's gonna rain it looks a bit like it doesn't it uh, so if we need to put the windscreen wipers on it's not the end of the world um, I don't like putting them on when I'm filming because it's a bit annoying but uh, it's not too bad So we've just gone through the filter in turn system. This is the bridge I mentioned earlier. And uh, you can see the chimneys there on the right of the screen. Power station. Uh, we're heading up to a mini roundabout. So as usual, as anywhere, give way to your right. Pretty busy this one, not too busy, it's a bit average and I'm gonna go straight on here and I'm gonna go along Summerfield Road around Bordeaux small little roads of Bordeaux really pretty places you'll see then we're gonna head on towards the west coast in the end so over the bump we go and um, as usual if you have any stories about driving in Guernsey leave them in the comments below I love reading them bit of traffic around here yeah a bit of a build up and we got the Stam, uh, not Stam Brew Odds what's that place on the end it's been here for so long Bogord and Harry yeah just on the right see the shop Bogord and Harry they're like a hardware store they've been here for so long great little place the van just reversing out yeah, let me know if you've ever been to Bogord and Harry. I haven't been there for a while, but uh, it's really good. Good little place to know. Then we got Iceland on the right. Now, do you remember what that used to be? Does anyone know? Uh, it used to be a garage. What was it called? Before it was Iceland, it was called... Uh, oh, it's Silverline. Was it Silverline Garage? I think they sold... I think they did a Daihatsu dealership. I don't know how I remember that, it just come to me. <laughs> anyway, let me know, I'm sure someone let me know if I'm wrong. So, travelling along Summerfield Road, my brother used to live along this road. And I used to live a little bit further around, I'll show you. Years ago, I lived in a 
cloud just on the left it's just on the corner um, and I, the name of the cloud escapes me I know the house was called Amelia is it Summerfield Clow? I don't know <laughs> I've made that up it's probably not round we go so just round this corner I don't know if we'll get I'll get to show it to you it's just on the left there just that entrance there on the left see it there's a clow in there I lived in there I bought though one of those houses and they're being built like at plot stage um, I don't know a long time ago 15 years ago maybe 20 years ago something like that so we're going to enter the little roads uh, sort of medium size but there's a lot smaller than this so what I'll do is I'll turn left and you can start seeing the houses we have to have here in Guernsey all these roads around here are two way roads so in other words there may be traffic coming towards me which may surprise you because there's barely enough room for me to get through so you've got to drive at a really slow speed and just anticipate around every corner you're going to meet a car things places like this it's not a bad idea to use your horn on your car but just be mindful that if people live around here it can be a bit irritating if they have horns going off every day so um, that's just something to think about there's a cat on the roof there see it on the left <laughs> I think my cat used to do that Around here, I'm going to try and drive maybe as slow as I can. This is a one-way road, so nothing should be coming towards me. But I'm going to drive slow. There's nothing behind me, so I'm not going to irritate any drivers behind me. Uh, so, slow as I can to give you everyone out there a good view. There's a guy there with his dog. He's just pulled in. So, these roads coming up. Uh, I'm turning right. This does, from what I remember, get quite narrow. Bearing in mind, I'm in a Ford Transit van, so I don't make things easy for myself. If you look on the left there, see that that's the Vale Mill. There used to be an old mill, used to have big sails on it. Proper working mill years ago. Then uh, in the Second World War, it was used for, um, by the Germans for different things. But I got it got sold a while ago, the Vale Mill. So it is, I think it's privately owned. Could be wrong, I think it is. So we're quite high up here. Just keep an eye out for cars. You can actually, if you look to the horizon, you might be lucky and see the sea somewhere at some point. Because we're going down a hill now. And what I want to do, um, obviously take a look at the scenery and the houses. There's some quite nice quiet little lane around here it's a lovely feeling I've walked around here it's lovely but I'm gonna turn left and I'm not sure I'm gonna make it my van I might have to do two tacks of it I think the angles really weird let me see so I'm gonna go left here um, no I don't want to make it I'll do a double so if I turn in here I'll just head towards the wall and I'll reverse back so look at these old Guernsey houses looks like there's a door halfway up the wall on that one doesn't it <laughs> I hope no one walks out of that they are so this is getting quite small up the hill keep an eye out for cars I think this road's two way pretty sure it is and we'll follow it along
it seems pretty quiet around here there's not many cars there's not many people around which is perfect for me but yeah it seems like just a bit deserted today uh, but yeah I'm just going to carry on and let me know if this is very different to where you live I'd love to hear about people watching the video where they live and what their houses look like I'd imagine around here is quite unique uh, very different obviously if you live in a city completely different but yeah it's um, this is a typical Guernsey Lane Yeah, very quiet. Very, very quiet. Alright, so we're nearly heading out onto a slightly bigger road now. Once we're through these lanes, try and get onto a bit of a main road, or a bit of a busier road, then we'll see a bit more life. <laughs> uh, I suppose these lanes are only used mainly by people that live around here. We have sort of main roads, I would, you know, a bit like other places in the world where they're used a lot more. These are maybe roads people use if they live here or they're doing a little shortcut somewhere. But to be honest with you, if you're heading somewhere, there's a lot easier routes to use in the lanes. We have slightly bigger roads where you can get a bit more speed up and it's just easier, really. Not so many corners and things. Um, so we're heading uh, around sort of Lancrest Common Way. There used to be, I think there was, I think there used to be a filter and turn system here. On the end, I think that sign says filter and turn. Yeah, there is a filter and turn system. So you have to be careful. As you can see, you can't really see anything from the right. You got to slow, slow down, have a good look. That car goes first. Then I go, and we'll follow it down the road. So this road, you can see, getting slightly bigger now. Not so small. So around the Vale Parish called the Vale. So that's V A L E. Which is a lower lying area. This isn't really classed as a high parish, as in high upland. Uh, this is low lying area around here, I'd say. Round the airport, like the forest, the parish of the forest and St Martin's, that's all a little bit higher. I was talking about that in my last video, if we get bad weather and we get snow, the higher parishes, the higher lying land, as anywhere, tends to get the worst of the snow. Round here sometimes isn't too bad. But uh, we haven't had any rain yet today, but those clouds look like they're threatening a little bit. We'll see if we can make it to the end of the video without any rain.
okay good so we are heading almost at the Vale Church I'll show you that in a second yellow line at the end we can go left or right remember if you see that yellow arrow on the road did you see it that just tells you there's a yellow line coming up which you must stop at so left or right we are going to go right here and uh, then we'll go we'll go right then immediately left and the Vale Church is just it's sort of in front I might be able to show you I don't know and that's the Vale Church car park there can we see any of the church it's maybe a little bit of it to the right you might just if you look to the right can you see the top of the church there yeah that's the Vale Church uh, where my parents got married and we're following a cyclist so no way we can overtake around here so I'm just going to have to follow him for a little bit uh, yeah not enough room around here at all then if you we're going to follow the road round to the left but you, you can see you, you could go right here and that takes you all around the little bay so in front of you is the Bay of Grand Harve it's called uh, it's like um, within that within Grand Harve there's loads of little beaches like Roos and Amra and Ladies Bay. Ah, oh, it's turned off. There we go. So we're going to head along. So this is this is a bit more. You can see the difference in the size of the roads now. So a bit easier to drive on. Really nice. This is more like it. So the speed limit along here is 35 miles per hour. Obviously, if you're in a fast car or a motorbike, you can easily break the speed limit, so you've got to be very careful. And the police do speed traps where they stand with a, a radar gun in their hand, and they do these around the island catching people speeding. So you do have to be very careful. Here we go. Then we're going to go right at the end, then we'll be onto the coast road. So we didn't manage to get away without any rain. I think there's a rainbow, can you see it? Just to the right of the screen. The Peninsula Hotel was just to the right. Can you see the rainbow? Yeah, it's definitely a nice rainbow. So I wondered if we'd get away without any rain, but we didn't. I don't think it's gonna be too heavy. But uh, we've been getting a lot of rainbows. Yeah, so look, that's the Peninsula Hotel it's coming out of. So does that mean the Peninsula Hotel's got a pot of gold inside? Maybe I should pop in, speak to them, speak to a receptionist. <laughs> I don't know if the, uh, I think it's only a half rainbow. It doesn't go all the way over. Oh, that's nice to see.
I'm just gonna pull in into this car park, drive down that cart track and show you the view out to sea. Now this is not good crossing here because cars come really quick. This car park's a bit bumpy but I'm gonna go down there's a cart track, if I follow straight in front it takes you to a car park you have a look at what the seat conditions look like again I've got to make sure nothing's coming around towards me because there's only one way in and one way out of this car park and there's a few cars up there not many, the sky's looking black definitely in for some rain now there's plenty of places to park so to give you a, a shot of what's going on in the sea in the channel It's, uh, there's no one in these cars so they must be walking their dogs or going for a walk there we go not too rough but uh, not bad anyway thanks for watching click the screen if you want to watch another video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff all about Guernsey until the next time take care and I'll see you again soon